You know, we used to see them a lot here in Long Beach back in 2015, the whites, and then they moved towards Dana Point. Lately, it's been just south of us towards San Diego and north towards Santa Barbara. More of them, they're getting closer, and researchers know that because of some amazing videos. Watch. A white shark off the coast of California, where drone video shows just how often juveniles come to the surfers. And the slowed down close up is nerve wracking as the oblivious paddling surfer seems to slap the shark, which swims away. What I'm closely finding out as I film more and more of these uh, juvenile white sharks is that they, they just, they really don't care. Carlos Gauna is a man behind the amazing white shark videos on the Malibu Artist YouTube channel. His drone even alerting a group of kayakers to this curious but not getting too close juvenile nearby. What began as a passion project has become a tool for science. So this is the shark lab. Shark lab. At Cal State Long Beach where they are using their own drones to help them tagging sharks as you see here. And they're even following them with autonomous water robots to look literally map out where the sharks are going and more important. Can we predict when humans and sharks will be in the same place mm -hmm. at the same time? We brought Carlos for his first visit to the lab where they have been using his videos along with their own footage for research. It's been extremely surprising to see how many sharks we have in Southern California and how often they are close to shore. And really how often they're not paying attention to people. If it weren't for drones, we wouldn't know how often juvenile white sharks are actually swimming right underneath surfers and swimmers. Drones have really changed how we understand those patterns. It's not only white sharks either. This is my video of a seven gill shark off the beach in San Diego, and the depth was barely 15 feet. But it's the whites that catch people's attention and are being seen in larger groupings off our coast. So these videos are incredibly useful as researchers study their behavior and what humans can do to avoid the rare but entirely possible too close encounter with any type of curious shark. Well, folks like Carlos are really helping science because they're volunteering to provide their information that we can use to answer some of the tough questions because we can't be everywhere at once. And you saw the videos really helped, like the video of that little white tip attacking. It was a camera light. That's my video as well. You could tell he was moving differently as he was coming to check it out. I knew what was coming. And you saw the people on the kayak. They did exactly what they're supposed to do. They huddled together. They didn't start splashing at it with the oars. They didn't start trying to feed it for it to get closer. It just came by. They pointed the kayak at it so it thinks it's watching them. Actually, it's the cue to the shark. And eventually they go away. On our website at Fox LA, we've put the link to the shark lab. They have really good advice for people out in the water. And of course, uh, the, the link uh, to the videos that you saw from the Malibu artist. So, uh, so you can enjoy some of the amazing stuff because he's out there all the time. Live in Long Beach, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys.